Hello everyone, I'm Xiaohan Chen from the Alibaba Demo Academy. Today I'm thrilled to share our work at AutoML Conference 2023. Our work is titled Learning to Optimize, a Primer and a Benchmark. This is a survey article about the uprising research direction of learning to optimize. As its name suggests, learning to optimize is about applying machine learning methods to classic optimization. While these two fields are highly related at the beginning, where the optimization is solved as a subroutine of training a machine learning model, they do share a lot of similarities. Firstly, both machine learning and optimization algorithms can be seen as mappings from the inputs to the outputs. Secondly, actually both of them can be applied in a data-driven manner. Thirdly, in many cases, they consume a great amount of computing power, but enable broad applications. In this context, Learning to optimize is a research direction that's drawing more and more attention, which is about deriving new and better optimization algorithms with machine learning as a tool. Here, better means the newly derived algorithms can converge faster or generate solutions of better quality. Despite the similarities, learning to optimize is a completely new scheme compared to classic optimization. Classic optimization methods are typically hand-built by experts based on theory and benchmark from a handful of basic components, such as the gradient of the objective function, the conjugate gradient, and the Newton steps, etc. The algorithms are usually written in a concise way, typically with just a few lines of code. When it comes to the application, the user will just pick a method suitable for the problem of their own interest it probably comes with a, a tuning process of some of the hyperparameters, such as the step size. In contrast, learning to optimize is a paradigm shift, where a user also participates in the design and improvement of optimization methods. In a usual pipeline of learning to optimize, the user first selects a template, which, which is an algorithm with tunable parameters. Then the user uses a training process to determine those parameters. This process is called offline training and requires the user to provide a set of optimization problems which, we, which are called optimizes. After the opt offline training, the user applies the learned optimization methods to the new but similar optimizes. In our article, we conduct a comprehensive survey and benchmark of existing learning to optimize methods for continuous optimization. To present all works in a logically clear way, we set up taxonomies on existing works and research directions. From a very high-level perspective, we characterize the existing literature into two parts, the model-free methods and the model-based methods. Here, the terminology model means the knowledge or the model set up by the experts of classical optimization, such as a specific modeling of an objective function or an existing algorithm. If a learning to optimize method discovers new algorithms without referring to any classic optimization methods, then we call the learning to optimize method model free. In the other case, we can choose to incorporate existing optimization methods as the base or the starting point for learning. We call this alternative approach as model based learning to optimize. We first talk about model free methods. Most of model-free methods are implemented as an LSTM network, which is good at processing sequential data. Here, theta is the optimization variable that we would like to optimize over. M is the LSTM network with tunable parameters phi. The nabla t is the input to the LSTM network at time t, which is the gradient of the objective function with respect to the optimization variable theta t. HT is the inner hidden state of the LSTM network that carries the historical information. The LSTM network outputs GT, which is applied as the update to the theta T. In our article, we present a bunch of variants of LSTM-based learning to optimize methods, introducing different advanced techniques to improve the network's generalization ability to more complicated optimization problems or longer iterations and how to debias and train stronger LSTM optimizers. Besides the implementations, we also survey the literature based on the different tasks where the model-free learning to optimize methods are applied to. 
such as black box optimization, particle swarm optimization, minimax optimization, game theory, and future learning. For the model-based part, we first set up taxonomy based on the methodologies. We mainly discuss two types of methods in this article, the plug-and-play method and algorithm unrolling method. Both methodologies derive new optimization methods by modifying existing iterative algorithms by replacing some parts with learnable parameters or neural networks. Then the learnable parts are trained in a data-driven manner. Plug-and-play is a non-convex framework that integrates modern denoising priors such as BM3D or deep learning-based denoisers into ADMM or other proximal algorithms. Considering minimizing this optimization problem, which can be solved with the ADMM algorithm. In practice, if we are working on an image domain application, the first equation in each iteration can actually be seen as a denoising operator. This observation motivates us to replace it with a more advanced denoiser, such as a convolutional neural network. This network can be trained on a dataset that is independent of the current optimization task and be directly plugged into the ADMM framework. Algorithm unrolling, in contrast, is probably the earliest methodology that integrates machine learning with optimization. Algorithm unrolling dates back to 2010, proposed in a seminal paper by Gregor and LeQuin. It unrolls the EAST algorithm that solves the Lasso minimization problems by replacing part of the update rule into learnable parameters. These parameters are trained on a set of optimizes in an end-to-end -end manner so that the learned optimizer can solve the problem fast. Algorithm unrolling has been widely applied to different tasks applications and being analyzed theoretically in terms of how the acceleration comes from and how to parameterize the networks more wisely so that the resulting model can converge better. To deal with the abundance of the existing literature on algorithm unrolling, we lay out the most representative works by categorizing them from these different perspectives. The community has made various attempts to explore learning to optimize and generated rich literature for solving different optimization tasks on different data and problems, as well as different software implementations on various platforms. Each learning to optimize method has its own training recipe and hyperparameters. Because a common benchmark for the field has not yet been established, Comparisons among different methods are inconsistent and sometimes unfair. Therefore, in our article, we strive to create a comprehensive benchmark that enables fair comparisons. We choose some popular and representative test problems that have been used in the existing literature. The first one is the convex sparse optimization, including both sparse inverse problems and the Lasso minimization. The second is the non-convex restriction function minimization. And the third one is the neural network training, which is a more challenging non-convex minimization problem. We have released our software implementation and test cases as the OpenL2O package at GitHub in the spirit of reproducible research and fair benchmarking. Welcome to fork our GitHub repository and test it with your own optimization tasks and problems. The PDF over our article is also available on the JMLR website. Thank you very much for your attention. Please feel free to contact us if you have any questions regarding this article. We would like to thank the organizers again for inviting us to the venue and hope all of you enjoy the AutoML conference. Thank you very much.